2024 Super GT Winter Test were kicked off at Sepang International Speedway on Tuesday, January 23rd, where eight cars from GT500 class took part. Two from Honda, the number 64 Modelo Civic, and the number 100 Stanley Civic. Three from Toyota, the number 19 Wet Sport Supra, the number 37 Dilla Supra, and the number 90 RND Test Car. Three from Nissan, the number 12 Impulse Z, the number 230 Nismo Test Car, and the number 24 Real Life Z. According to Jamie Klein, the top morning times of 151.375 was achieved by the number 12 Morelli Impulse Z followed by the number 37 Tom Supra and the number 230 Nismo test car. In regards to the newcomers, the Civic, they appeared somewhat competitive on day one. The number 100 posted a 151.415 in the morning, but was literally a second off the pace in the PM session. The number 64 Modelo Civic posted a 151.947 in the morning, and was also a second off the pace in the evening session. On day two, there was a little bit of rain, but this didn't stop the AGT500 cars from taking the circuit. The number 12 Morelli Impulse Z was the quickest on test day one, but appeared to have some sort of technical or mechanical issues, which stopped their progress on this day. This time, it was the number 230 Nismo test car who set the fastest morning session pace, while the number 12 Morelli Z got their stuff together and led the afternoon session with a 149.919. On day three, it was another Nissan Ran day with the number 230 Nismo Z leading the morning session. But hold on, here comes the Honda as the number 100 Stanley Civic is the first non-Nissan to set the pace with a 150.902 in the afternoon session. No other Honda or other car touched the 150s. On day four, it was the Toyotas to set the pace as the number 37 dealer Supra set a new benchmark time of 149, reported by Jamie Klein. That topped the number 12 Nissan Morelli Impulse Z by two tenths. The number 100 Stanley Civic, who previously topped the times, finished fifth on the timesheet. The next test is February 7th through the 8th as we head to Okayama International Circuit to kick off the home soil testing. Make sure to stay tuned to Kita Auto for all your Super GT news on this side of the globe. Until next time, I'll talk to you later.